Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Today is not Saturday. I, it's because I'm thinking of a reading that I, I did on Saturday, and it's going to post today, which is um, September 25th, 2023. And I had said it was the 25th in that reading, and I'm like, wait a minute. And what's weird is I didn't really catch it at first, and when I was listening to it back, because I'm like, why isn't it uploading? It's still processing right now, today. So it was meant to be posted today. I just pre-recorded it a few days prior, and some of the stuff in it, not, not that much, but some, um, actually came out and happened on Sunday. So I recorded Saturday, said Monday's date, so today's date, and certain things in there, I was like, oh my gosh, that happened on Sunday. Um, so things unfold in the way that they're supposed to, and I feel like spirit does that to show me and other people, um, you know, the things that I pick up on, because a lot has gone on, and I might explain some of it towards the end of this video, I'm not sure, I don't want to do it, like, in the beginning, just in case certain people don't want to hear it, um, you know, because it is a reading. So anyways, regardless of that, like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. Um, I don't know. Stuff like that just blows my mind, and I love it. And, you know, sometimes the messages, I just want to say this, sometimes the messages that, that we receive as readers or that you receive intuitively for your own situation, your own life, whatever, they can be really difficult. Um, sometimes it can be difficult to understand and it's like, is that going on for me or who, who does this pertain to? Or you might know exactly who's in question, but you're, you might go, why, you know, like why would, why does that message pertain to that person? You know what I mean? But you just have a feeling it does. Um, and then you find out why. So if any of you are second guessing yourselves, um, with the things that you're feeling and sensing, don't second guess yourself. Question actions and words of others, but never question yourself, never doubt yourself. Karma is at work here, and I feel like someone is getting a hefty dose of karma. Um, I know they are in my situation, and no, it's not me. It's what was done to me, but there's other people. It's like, it's almost like there's a group of people that aren't associated with each other, like, like just, there's like a pile of karma coming in for for like-minded individuals. So the types of people that are doing similar things, they're all getting a hefty dose of their own karma at this time, whether they know each other or not. You know what I mean? It's like, um, so if somebody was spreading hate and discontent and stuff like that, a group of people who were doing that in separate situations are getting their karma. Um, and I don't know, whatever this is, is not gonna be pleasant for them. And I just heard, do not feel bad for said person if you know who I'm talking about. Like whoever this is applying to. Because whatever they did to you, whatever was done, they did it intentionally. And they deserve every bit of karma that's headed their way. That's coming from the divine. Healing from heartbreak. And a lot of you might have to heal from the situation from whatever someone did, if you find out about something. Um, someone tried to stop you from healing. I don't know if they tried to stop you from healing yourself or just a situation or relationship between you and somebody else. Somebody tried to put that to an end. I was gonna say tried to halt your progress, but they tried to end something for you and it didn't work. It's almost like whoever this is, when certain people do whatever they can to hurt your feelings to mess something up for you and it's just like they're so hyper focused on your failure and then all of a sudden you rise above and succeed all they're doing in the end is hurting themselves because whatever they're wishing on you is coming back to them times 10 and this person might not believe in karma but it does exist and you don't have to believe in it for it to hit you just saying series of unfortunate events a lot of bad luck it's not luck it's what you deserve is what I just heard from some like someone deserves whatever they're whatever's headed their way 
good, bad, or indifferent, because karma is good, too. It's not just bad. Um, but there's someone who's getting a hefty dose of not-so-great karma. All right, so what's going on in this situation besides all that? I keep staring at my hair tie. I don't know what the significance with the hair tie is, but I've heard this before in the past. Your hair tie saved you. And now I'm staring at a book, which is kind of funny because a while ago I used to go, book, you know, like from Hocus Pocus. And there's this little baby book that I got um, for the twins, and it's a Halloween book. And it's, that's what it's called, book. <laughs> like, boo. I don't know what the significance with that is. Could be Halloween, could be significant. I just heard I'll be your ghost story. Someone could be freaking someone out, but um, especially if we're talking intuitively and stuff, but I kind of feel, I don't know, spirit. And the car. Someone was playing, playing games with another person. I've gotten that before. Game over, you lose. That's what I just heard. You've attracted wonderful news. So whatever information you were looking for has come to you or it will. Um, and I feel like Spirit's definitely telling someone to back off. Whoever this this person is or these people are, they need to back back away. They need to step back. Because um, they're not going to like what's headed their way if they continue down whatever path this is. If they continue to say or do whatever they're doing to another person. Whether it's happening to you or somebody else. they It needs to stop. Um... I just heard no good will come from this. No good will come from this. No good will come from this wonderful news. No. No good will come from whatever bullshit someone's pulling. So it's like if there's jealousy in here where someone's trying to stop another person, no matter what they're trying to stop, um, for whatever their reasoning is, it, and it's not good reasoning, it's like you might get what you want or think that you're going to. But there's a catch. You might think you're going to get what you want, but there's a catch. Because something, someone's victory is going to be short-lived. Like, hi, I successfully did this. Like, uh, I ruined, you, you're not healing things between you and someone, whether it's a friendship, family situation, love, interest, whatever it is, it's like, oh, that's done. But it, is it? It's not done. Something, you can't stop the inevitable. You can't stop what's meant to be in someone's life. And if a specific person or people are supposed to be in their world, you definitely can't keep them away forever. But I don't, there's a false victory here. So that's something that's going to be short-lived for someone because they thought that they got one over you or something, but they didn't. They didn't. Someone who's paying attention, the fly on the wall. Let's see, give me more on that. Release your power, yeah, because I just heard because you're unloading on this person. So if you, whatever information you're gonna find out about a situation, a person, whatever they said or did, whatever happened, because this has already happened. Something already happened, and it's coming to light, basically. So you're finding out information. feels like someone's going to tell you something, like secret exposed, which I did pick up on that energy on Saturday. Um, and, um, like a secret's exposed. And with release your power, I feel like there's a right way to do something in a wrong way. In this situation, you won't be wrong, no matter what you say or do. You won't be in the wrong. Because you know what's making me think of is when you find out that someone hurts you, they stabbed you in the back or did whatever, and you're trying to be nice. Like, 
like I don't want to do to you what you did to me kind of thing which if you confront the person and you're not being exactly very nice because whatever they did wasn't nice to you that's not doing the same thing that's confrontation that's looking for clarity that's um, you know facing a situation or a problem head-on that's releasing your power that's not problematic because you're not trying to hurt that person you're putting their own bullshit in their face someone might do that some of you might do that with somebody a dress is significant something to do with a dress maybe someone's going to a dance or a party or something because it feels like a girl's dress or something is significant uh, Someone's keeping something bottled up and they're about ready to be out with it. Like, oh, I can't hold on to this anymore. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say whatever this is. I do feel like it's, it's good though. Even if it's not the best news, it has something to do with someone's ID, their identification. Someone's going to ID someone identify a problem or there's just a significance with someone's ID like maybe they need to get it renewed or they need to get one or something um, news ID and news and power someone's gonna open their mouth and say something they're gonna identify a situation or a person they're gonna call someone out and they might say it to you like all right i've been bought i bottled this up for a while i've been holding back i knew about this situation i knew about something whatever it was and they're going to just be out with it and be like you know i'm not gonna sit here and keep this inside anymore they're gonna point the finger at someone and be like all right this is the problem this person whatever the situation is Someone's going to point out a problem to you, which I feel like is long overdue and it feels kind of worrisome and kind of stressful at the same time, but, but necessary. I don't know. Whoever speaks up is going to be rewarded for doing so. And it's not like, you know, being rewarded publicly or anything like that. It's good things will come to them in this situation like because i don't feel like anyone's going to shoot the messenger do you know what i mean so like when you find something out whatever this is you might get upset um i feel like most of you will get upset over whatever whatever comes out but you're not going to get mad at the person that tells you because the person that tells you they might have been in the know but they weren't they weren't the problem like whatever they're gonna tell you, they weren't part of, they just were privy to it. They just knew something like that. Itch, something to do with itching. I don't know if it has to do with allergic reactions or if you're just itchy, dry skin, something. Um, chemistry could be significant as well. Maybe somebody's in chemistry class or has something to do with chemicals, no matter what that means to you. Go on, go on, just go, get out of here. Telling someone to go, to leave. Go, get out of here. I just heard Ma, go, get out of here, just get out of here, just go. Somebody doesn't want their mom around? This could be a warning for someone as well because I keep staring not right this second I'm actually looking at a baby picture of my daughter on the wall but that's not what this is this is the warning is I kept seeing the word warning actually I was I saw it on multiple things in the garage over the span of a few days but I also <sighs> something's coming Some effed up energies come in.
because someone's spilling the tea. Yeah, there's something not so great headed someone's way. Because I, I actually saw um, the word warning again today too. So it's been three days in a row. And usually signs like significant signs, they do come in threes. Problems come in threes too, just saying. Um, just go, just go. So I have no clue what that's about. Um, let's pull one of these for dragonflies to be significant. Love drought. Someone you thought cared about you doesn't. Um, this doesn't feel like a romantic thing. It could be for some of you. Someone's caught in a web of lies. Oh, they're not, they're not caught in the web of lies anymore. There was someone in a situation who was caught up in a bunch of bullshit. They, you might have thought that there was someone specific who was lying to you and they weren't. Someone was just using them. Someone was just using them as a scapegoat. I just heard, oh, wonderful. Someone was using another person as a scapegoat. The radio could be significant. I don't know why. Spiritually, I think of that as like being on the same frequency or trying to get on the same frequency as somebody else. I'm staring at an antique tube radio right now and I'm seeing like two kids sitting in front of it like you know back when it was working where you just sit in front of it even though you can't see anything you can listen. So someone might not have been able to see clearly for one especially spiritually or they weren't able to spy on you like literally see you but they were listening. Um, so there could be some type of listening device that was going on um, so someone was getting information because they were paying attention in, in at least one form or fashion because you can't see whoever's on the radio. You can just hear. It could have something to do with someone's radio as well. I don't know how people tap into that crap. I'm not tech savvy, but whatever that means to you could be through someone's radio especially if there's a bluetooth connection because bluetooth could be significant in this situation for some of you if there's any spying energy this doesn't feel like creepy stalker like someone who's gonna hurt hurt you or harm you it feels like someone wants information that would be for intel like for whatever reason um has something to do with a plant i don't know plants a plant I don't know why plants are significant. But anyways, yeah, there's someone. You might be really happy to connect or reconnect with someone. And it's like, oh, yay. This is a loving situation, but it isn't. Whoever this is, they didn't show you love before. And they, they don't like, they don't love you now. Friends, family, or otherwise. I don't know. Believe what people show you, not what they say, is what I want to say with that. Because I just want to say he doesn't love you and that's the truth. I don't know what that's about. He doesn't love you and that's the truth. Whatever that means and whoever that's for. Because someone might be holding on to an outdated situation. Something or someone they need to let go of. The, when I said he doesn't love you, that feels like a relationship thing. Hanging on to someone because they don't want to let you go kind of thing. Um, Alright, so what's going on here? Indecision. Yeah, somebody doesn't know what to do. Because, because of their own feelings. Like, because I have these feelings, I don't want to let you go even though I'm questioning how you feel about me because you're showing me that you don't care kind of shit. It, it is hard to let go of a relationship when that's going on. And I feel like someone's being faced with a decision. Like, 
I don't want to let this go, but but nothing's changing. So yeah, that's in a relationship. Something, someone that hasn't changed won't change. And it's like, do you really want to be happy? You need to be happy. Because it feels like one person is content with the status quo and the other one isn't in whatever this is. Um, especially if you're partnered, if that's making any sense to you. Because I feel like I don't want to, someone doesn't want to be alone. Um, and they don't want to make the wrong choice. Like, what if I'm wrong about this and, and we break up and I ruined a good thing? If you're questioning shit like this and you've been questioning it for a while, you're not ruining a good thing. Um, there's some type of truth that was exposed, no matter what your situation is. But I do feel that, you know, what do I do energy in a relationship because someone isn't happy. They're not getting what they need and what they want out of a connection because someone just isn't participating the way that they should. You know what I mean? Um thinking man it could be a man who's heavily thinking about um his relationship this is something else i just heard will this work out so for some of you if you're single i feel like there's someone a masculine energy who is trying to decide what direction to go in what to say or do in a situation because I'm thinking about you and I'm wondering if this will even work. How will we make this work kind of thing? So there's someone who's thinking about you and they're wondering how to move towards you. But they don't know what to do. This person doesn't have a plan. So if you're thinking this is part of a strategy, part of a plan to get one over you or um, to win you over it for an ulterior reason, no. Like, this person doesn't have an ulterior motive. They don't even have a plan of attack. Like, all right, how do I, how do I say this to you? How, how do we get this moving? Is this going to work between us kind of thing? I really don't have a plan. I don't know how to heal this. Someone doesn't know how to fix this. They don't They don't have a plan at all. They could be trying to come up with a plan, but it's not malicious or anything. It's just like, where do I start? Where do I start with this is what that feels like. Well, you got to balance things out. Bring love into the situation, whoever you are. Yeah, door to romance. If you want to fix something between you and someone, or you just want to move towards them, be kind, you know, treat others how you want to be treated. Turkey feathers could be significant. Um, this person's really trying to think before they act because they don't want to make the wrong choice. This person's heart's been broken a time or two, I'm just going to say, but there's no ulterior motive, like I said. This person doesn't, they don't even don't know what to do is what it feels like um but like i said bring love into the situation and make sure things are balanced so you're not always the one reaching out it, it's back and forth i just heard is this really gonna heal is it really gonna work is it really gonna work out maybe a female's thinking that or feminine so this masculine energy is like all right how do i heal this what do i do here and this feminine energy is like is this even going to work out so if somebody connects with you reconnects whatever you might be questioning um not their motives but like is this going to go anywhere how far is this going to go like you know how sometimes when it's on again off again whether it's a love relationship or family or friends or whatever and after so many times of it being on and then off and then it's like okay well it's on again so um how long before it's off that's what a feminine is thinking in this situation no matter who it's pertaining to yeah when are you going to leave me out again that's what this is or are you going to leave me out again? Um, and that could be a concern of this masculines too, especially if 
you know, he or she was the one who, who left you out uh, prior. Not moving forward. Yeah, the reason why this hasn't moved forward so far is because someone's just in thinking mode. They, they haven't made a full decision. They're trying to figure something out. I don't know if I should do this or not. This, is, this feels like I don't know if I should do this or not. Wishful thinking. This masculine energy. It's almost like someone's thinking, oh, you know, this is a pipe dream. This is wishful thinking if I think this is going to heal. If you're going to work together with me. But someone is wishing on a star. They're... Oh, someone, they're not praying for you. That's weird, because I just heard they're praying to you. Like, like letting you know what they're wishing for. Like, they're sending it to you. You could be picking up on it. We have the world. With the three of wands. Whatever this is, the wait is over is what I just heard. Yeah. Everything's turning aside. Everything's falling down. London Bridge is falling down. Um, so whatever problems were going on, I feel like they're not. Something's getting rectified is what it feels like in this situation, unbeknownst to you. But... If you thought that this person had a strategy where they just were going to keep you waiting forever, that they don't. This person doesn't want to do that. That's That wasn't their strategy. That wasn't their plan. Um, like to make you think that they were going to come back, but it was really over. That's not what this is. But you could have been led to believe that that's what this person was doing. Or that's what their intentions would be when they head towards you. Yeah. But that's not their, they don't have a strategy. They're not, that's not their plan. So if this person did leave you hanging, they, they didn't do it like maliciously. I'm not saying it's right. However, they handled the situation doesn't seem very good, but that wasn't part of the plan is what I want to say. Um, there's something to do with gymnastics or a baton as well. I don't know what that's about. Cause I'm like twirling batons. It's an act, an act. It's an act. What the fuck? Someone thought, wait, it's all an act. Somebody could have thought that you were being a phony baloney. But there's an act here. Okay. If anyone did the hot and cold crap and left you waiting, especially in love, it was all an act? That makes no sense. Something in this situation between you and, like, between you and someone in a love capacity Someone was acting. They were, it was all an act. What? All an act. Okay, I'm really confused because I don't know if this is all an act because I'm seeing healer and I almost feel like somebody... Somebody said that about you. Like you're, you're just, you're an actor or an actress. You're just acting. It was all an act. Someone was pretending. The great pretender. There's someone here who was like, hope, they're hoping that they'll get some type of award for their acting skills in this fucking bullshit situation. I'm just going to say, but, um, and the award does not go to this fucking idiot. I'm just saying. 
Yeah. Somebody. There's, there's lies here. In a family situation or pertaining to money, there's a liar in someone's family. Or in that relationship I was talking about too, because that relationship situation where someone's kind of indecisive, like, I don't know if I should stay or go, um, that's in here, but that's separate from this. That's, a, that's for someone else or whatever. This feels like, For some of you, especially when it comes to family, there could be a family member here who thought that you had some type of strategy or plan as to why you wanted to heal things with them. Like, like, okay, what's your motive? Why do you want to heal things? Do you want money? Do you, like, why do you want to be in my life now kind of thing? Either you're thinking that or they are or were. Um, But I don't feel like there's a motive here. There just isn't. It's just somebody naturally wants to fix a situation. They nat naturally want to heal something. Whoever this is hasn't moved on from you, whether it's a friend, family member, or otherwise. Because I do feel family in here. And I feel like positive changes are coming and a lot of healing is going to take place. I just heard a lot of healing and a lot of dealing. So it's like healing your heart chakra, healing a relationship with another person and dealing with a bad situation. Like, because not everything can be healed. Not everything can be worked through and not, not everyone deserves forgiveness. You know what I mean? Depending on what the, what the crime is, you know what I mean? Whatever they did. So sometimes you just have to deal. Like, it's like, all right, I just have to deal with this situation because it is what it is. It happened or it's happening and um, we're not going to heal it. We're going to deal with it. That kind of thing. Yeah, because there's someone that you're not going to heal things with because of the lies. And a lot of times when it comes to liars and stuff, it is hard to heal things with them because, and you just have to deal with the situation or the person. Um, maybe you have to deal with this person just because they're in your life for a significant reason. And it's like, you know, they're not going to go anywhere anytime soon because they have to be around for whatever reason. So that could be within someone's family. Like, you know, yeah, I have to deal with you because, because of whatever. Um, but you're not going to get the truth either way. Because usually when you confront a liar, they're just going to spin it. It, it, it spin a different story. They're going to spin a new web. Oh, this web didn't work out. Time to build a new one. You know what I mean? Um, something like that. There's someone who could be an habitual liar that you might just have to deal with. Um, and if that's in your family, you're probably not the only one that has to deal with this person. But it feels like it's within a situation where you can't just walk away from them for whatever reason. some of you I just heard in my head now it's time to tell your story um so if you want to listen I will share that now it's not really much of a story but it it's really frustrating the situation that happened to me sounds similar to this but not a thousand percent there's messages in here that have nothing to do with me and I know that already but um that's not what this reading was about. It's just, you know, you can, a lot of people can relate to the situation that I'm in and the things that I've gone through, which is why I do share past experiences and um, I share little stories and dreams and stuff like that because it's relatable and some of my dreams are actually for other people. It has nothing to do with me because um, a lot of people have psychic dreams. My son was just telling me about a dream he had um, a while ago about watching twins and <laughs> he's helping me with them, you know, off and on. So it's kind of funny how, you know, and that was before my sister was even pregnant with them. So we all have these abilities. Um, 
my children are gifted even if they don't always notice or see it or understand and they have gifts in different ways you know just like a lot of other people I read a certain way I get messages in a certain way I'm a medium and a psychic um, but other people have different gifts and they receive information in a totally different way than I do you know it doesn't mean that it's wrong it just means it's different um, that could be advice in here for someone like the way that somebody handles something or, or what they do it doesn't mean that it's wrong for them to do this that or the other it's just different because um, there's multiple ways to skin a cat <laughs> you know what I mean <coughs> but anyways <clears throat> I had said that um, the reading over the weekend, because I read in my car, that uploaded fine, and some of the messages over the span of time, not just this weekend, some of the messages with family issues with a sibling um, were meant for me. And I kind of felt like it was, but I wasn't 100% sure because... I don't know, I kept going back to it. And whenever you keep going back to something, if you can't let it go, there's a significance with it. But I wasn't sure exactly what the significance was because I was like, um, why would that person, you know, why would that person want to do this or that to me? You know what I mean? Like, what did I do? And I didn't do anything. Um, actually, I told the truth and it pissed this person off because, you know, certain people can't handle the truth. And... Um, <sighs> Yeah, uh, they seeked vengeance on me. And this is what I found out Saturday night, moving into Sunday, basically, was, and it was my sister. Um, and what's really fucked up is I'm being brought back, like remembering a reading that I did where I said, there's someone who um, betrayed you and you've done nothing but help them. I'm helping her in the biggest way uh, I think anyone really can. I have her kids here. And even finding all this out, that situation isn't going to change. Um, this shit news is not going to affect that situation because that's completely separate. And I do know how to keep my emotions out of things. Um, but I'm more hurt than anything, but I'm getting on the mad side. <laughs> I'm just saying. And I have every right to be angry. Um... So basically, most of you who have followed me for a while know that I have kind of a, a strange um, relationship, a strained relationship with my father um, and his side of the family basically just kind of shunned me. And I, I didn't know why, because it was like I was welcomed back in and then all of a sudden I, I would just, I wasn't and I didn't, I was so confused. And this happened like a year or so ago and um And I, I didn't know why. And I was, I didn't like sit here and cry about it, but it bothered me because I really wanted things. I wanted positive change. And I thought, I really thought that it was going to work out that time. And it didn't. Well, I finally found out why. Finally found out why. And it was all because of a lie. Um, my sister was pissed at me. And she told my family that as I'm working with my spiritual gifts, which, by the way, during all that crazy energy, when I was getting bombarded, because I didn't know how to protect my energy at the time, um, when I was getting bombarded with all that stuff, yeah, I did I did look a little like, what the hell is going on here, a little, little not so. Um, but it, it was like a perfect storm, and she basically used my healing process and my me learning to do what I'm doing as... Um, to back her to back her bullshit up she told them that I was basically hardcore into substances and I was hallucinating and she was trying to get me help and get me into rehab which is kind of ironic the situation now like my dad said the proof is in the pudding isn't it because uh, I didn't lose my fucking kids just saying um, but anyways yeah so because of everything that was happening and the lie that she was spinning, I they pushed me away because they didn't know what to believe. I'm not saying the situation was handled correctly because it wasn't, but 
I don't know how I would have reacted in that situation. I probably would have handled it differently if someone told me that about one of my kids, but um, a lot of people have to understand or people in the situation have to understand like from my father's perspective, we hadn't spoken in years. So he probably just didn't know how to handle me and wasn't sure wasn't sure if it was true or not. And, and of course they didn't want substances and someone that was that was on them to be around their grandkids and stuff and that's totally understandable but i wasn't i was totally clean and sober uh, i still have been i don't even really drink anymore just saying but yeah i always knew that she was part of a problem for me i just didn't know why or how but i know now like i said i'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing and I'm not going to treat her any differently but you bet your fucking ass I have something to say and it won't be a fucking lie it's really funny too because today on Facebook I saw when I, I think I posted it it's a meme that's something like it says something like when you when you lie about me I'll tell the truth about you because I'm a truth teller. But anyways, yeah, that's my little story. So um, if anyone's been with me for a while and you've been picking up or listening to me pick up on that crap, um, I finally got confirmation, at least in my own situation, about that bullshit. And it's upsetting. It really is. And I want to fucking smack her in the face, to be honest. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I want to look at her and just hit her. But I'm not like that, and I'm not going to. But I'm allowed to feel that way, you know? Because it, it, I don't know, I guess the craziest thing too, I keep saying that, is in this situation when I noticed negative things, like bad things that she was doing in the beginning of, like during her visits, we'll just put it that way. I know, I know when people are sober and when they're not, and I know when people are lying and when they're not, especially her, because I've known her my entire life. I know her baseline, <laughs> just saying. Um, and whenever I had to write down things that weren't on the positive side, I felt like I was betraying her. I felt guilty because it just, I don't know, you always have your family's back, your siblings back. And then when I found out what she did to me behind my back, and for no reason, um, I don't feel bad about it anymore. I shouldn't have felt bad in the first place because I'm doing it for the babies, not for her, and it's the truth. I would never spin a web of bullshit in a serious matter or lie about something serious just because of jealousy. <sighs> She's not the only one who does that to people. And I'm not the only one she's done that to. But anyways, um, if she watches this, sorry I put your ass on blast, but you fucking deserve everything you're getting. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.